Are we more like the Pharisees than we would ever want to admit? In three passages in a row in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus and the Pharisees contend with each other. Once when Jesus forgives sins, once when he's dining with toll collectors and sinners, and once when he and the disciples are eating from a grain field on the Sabbath. The question is, why? Why did they have such controversy? Well, sometimes we think that the Pharisees were just bad guys. But no one wakes up in the morning and says, how can we crucify a Messiah today? Or how can we be in history forever as bad people? No, the Pharisees and Jesus were in the midst of a family feud. Let me illustrate it like this. Who do we argue the most with? Who do we have our biggest fights with? Well, if you think about it, it's those we have the most in common with. I would ask students, have you ever hit your brother or sister when you were growing up? They often say yes. Then I say, well, do, you have to, do I have to worry that you might hit me? They say, well, of course not. I say, why? You probably love your brother or sister more than me, but you've hit them. It's because it was a family feud, or a little more controversially, how much do Democrats and Republicans actually have in common? Say, no, they disagree about everything. Well, if you think about it, both want a Supreme Court and a president and a House and a Senate, and both believe they're following the Constitution. We fight with the people we have the most in common with. Jesus and the Pharisees were people that believed the Scriptures, believed God had a plan for Israel, believed God wanted people to follow the law, but that's where the differences came in. Here's the big question. Are we sometimes more like the Pharisees than Jesus? A little bit off, but there's a lot we agree on. Luke chapter 6, we'll learn that Jesus and the Pharisees agree that the Sabbath should be kept. They disagree on how to keep it. They disagree on what is work. Maybe you have 90% in common, but that other 10% is the real problem. So here's the question. Are we sort of like Jesus, or are we really following Jesus? Are we more like the Pharisees, or are we being transformed into his glorious image? We have a great chance to think about that more as we continue through the Gospel of Luke. This is your daily devotional for Monday, April 10th, sometimes called Easter Monday. Seek first the kingdom of God. Read your Bible every day. Pray. Pray for the church. Pray for me. Seek to invite people to our wonderful Savior. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you as you serve him.